finally, we can see more of this. These are IDs, right? Oh, I wonder how good this one will be. Looks really cool, though. I think I have better luck with Yoshu IDs than other ones, aside from Gregor and Sinclair. So if it's good, I might try to go for this one. <gasps> and she looks so cool like that, too. Whoa. Surprisingly, okay, maybe it's not that surprising, but surprisingly, he looks really good with that outfit. <laughs> He, he kind of looks like a potentially a Jack the Ripper type of character. Which would be very interesting if that was the case. We observed a large scale unauthorized temporal leakage phenomenon. Very concept of killing time. Wait, eliminating it? Completely? <gasps> this is an ego? Oh my god. Wait, is that a wedding dress? She looks so good like that. <gasps> she could totally be totally be uh what a, what is it? One of those time gods or goddesses. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she really was based off of that, but it's probably based off of an abnormality, right? And maybe the abnormality is based off of a uh, a god from mythology that controls time. Well, I guess those three are going to be the ones to go into the corporation or the nest. Can't wait for what won't come. Now is the time for action. All those time killing bastards. Whoop. <laughs> Did not mean to say that. I'll. I wonder whose point of view it's in. Okay, so there was a... Okay, so... <laughs> Hongu's ID is probably the best looking one. Okay, so it is identity. I didn't really see the top left. But now I know it is the identity. But Hongu's is actually pretty cool. I mean, I like Ryoshi's too, but which do you guys prefer design-wise? I'm kind of... Uh, it's so hard to decide. Like, Duo Shoes has, like, a really cool steampunk and super, like, sleek or slick vibe to it. But then Honglu has, like, total, what is it called? Jack the Ripper vibes. <laughs> or no, no, no. It kind of reminds me of Kuro Shitsuji or Black Butler anime. Like, that kind of style vibe. That's what it's totally giving me. But who, who knows if uh, it's probably not based off of that or referring to that. But it kind of does give me similar feels as that. Especially this particular photo, I guess, image. Artwork really gives me the same feeling. And then, and then there is my favorite Faust with her awesome ego. I, I can't believe <sighs> she's wearing a wedding dress, right? Let me let me actually like take a closer look. Uh, I think it's right here. Yeah, looking at this is pretty much like a you know those horror movies where like there's like the dead bride coming out from the ground and her wedding dress is all like a torn. It, it, it kind of looks like that, but then with the whole cogs and time, obviously. They are referring to time all the time here, but it gives me a similar feeling as like Greek mythology with Kronos and those other Greek gods and goddesses, like the style and with time. And it makes me wonder if she is based off of, oh, uh, I can't talk, off of an abnormality, then is that abnormality potentially based off of one of the Greek gods or goddesses, for example, Kronos, 
Actually, I don't know if Kronos... Kronos might be Norse, right? It's been a while since I dived or dove into mythology. Someone will have to refresh me on that. But I do really like the artwork. I think out of all of these, the best artwork is definitely the Faust one. Oh my gosh, Faust in a wedding dress? <laughs> she looks so pretty. It doesn't help that she has like white hair and all that. And then with the gold, bronzish, no, it's more gold cogs and all that stuff. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I absolutely love it on her. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she looks so good. Oh, I love it. I mean, what, what do you guys think? Do you like the Honglu ID, Yoshi ID, or Faust Ego artwork the best for this particular one? I have to give a vote for the Faust one because, oh my gosh. I like steampunk, but that, that one looks so darn good. <laughs> But I am pretty excited for this event. Clearly, it's the inner Valo, so obviously, by the time I do reach it, it's no longer going to be an event. But still, I can still look forward to what it'll be like. I, I, I guess. I mean, I won't spoil myself, but still. Clearly, it's steampunk and has to do with time. That, that's already going to be fun. And I think it's already been confirmed now since the end shows... Let me see. The end shows Honglu, Yoshu, and Rodian. So clearly it means that those three are going to be the ones to actually go into the nest with Dante. Since I know in the previous one, Dante and Virgilius were choosing who would want to be there, I guess. Uh, players or their choice. But well, clearly we're gonna go with Virgilius's choice. I mean, why wouldn't we? Because he's the one that basically knows what's best at this point. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to see those three in particular working together to solve a crime or whatever it is that they have to do. So I'm pretty excited for that one. Oh, I just love that kind of theme mystery and then there's time and then there's what is it <sighs> i mean that's pretty much oh and steampunk Th those are like the three best combos ever <laughs> especially since time killing time and apparently they can kill time so that's pretty quite scary to think about i mean think about it killing time could potentially mean erasing all the memories that could be potentially may be made or it could also mean literally removing the past which could remove people's ability to remember things i don't know i just feel like killing time would be such a bad idea but you know I i'm not that so who, who knows <laughs> I mean, what do you think do you think that it's going to be a really bad thing or would you want to be able to kill time or what do you think they mean by eliminating time? Is it actually just removing minutes, hours, days, years from existence so they don't even exist anymore? Quite an interesting concept. So I do look forward to seeing how they pull it off by the time I do reach it. Obviously, I'm not there yet. And it'll take me a while before I reach that part. But it's still something to ponder about and think about as I continue to play Limbus Company. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this reaction video. And if you would like more Olympus Company from me, then make sure to give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!